Jimmy Barney. Ah. <laughs> My name is this Jimmy. work, uh, well, uh, look, uh, I have to go back. Uh, when I was at Queensland Theatre Company, I was trying to get a work with Jimmy Barney, say, what do you want to do, what do you want to do? And we tried to look at bits and pieces of things. His grandfather, Ephraim Barney, was big in my world too as a, as a ethnographer as a um, linguist uh, and things and about two maybe three years ago now uh, Jimmy's father passed away and Jimmy became the hereditary chief of his island and what this meant this responsibility was all about how do you pass on culture in the way that his grandfather did by uh, documenting the the languages of Torres Strait Islands um, uh, passing on culture in a different way what his father's role was Jimmy had to think about what what his role was and so on stage is his mother his grandmother two brothers and his son mm -hmm. and it's all about the the legacy that's often museum based legacy and anthropologist lit based legacy coming through and how it's being passed on to the next generation passed through the different generations through to his son on mm -hmm. stage and it's a powerful thing because if anything one of the big things for uh, indigenous Australians is about how do we get cultural transference how do we keep getting information passed on and as I was saying before the theatre is a fantastic way mm. Jack Davis did it as well he put in a lot of Noongar language into his plays and got all his relatives to act roles in his plays and learnt the language along the way or at least expressed that language through his plays and got a deeper understanding of, of them and publicly expressed them mm. so that there is a sense of public pride in it and I think Jimmy Barney who I love as an actor has helped uh, devise and make this show with his father who passed away, mm -hmm. um, who was involved in the early days when they're just thinking about what it would be. And it's crystallized into this show that I think is a very important, beautiful show to do. And it sounds very joyful from there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> look, at the mu when you get music, you get dance. There's one particular moment where uh, Jimmy's talking about um, the silent languages of, of gesture and all that kind of stuff. And there's this exchange that goes on about, you know, doing different gestures and above them is a little kind of surtitling along the way. And he does a gesture to his son, which is kind of like, you know, what are you doing, what are you doing? And, you know, has that kind of translation above. And above his son turns up, uh, uh, you know, an emoji. And, you know, he looks at it and goes, I don't understand this kind of thing. Because the younger generation is speaking a totally different language, mm. in this case, gesture. Mm. But the way the communication happens is different. And so there are generational breaks that might mean, in this case, language can't pass down mm. or, or, or is endangered in that passing down process. Mm.